Tonight, a surge in Yuba and Sutter counties leaves the area's only hospital at 142% capacity in the ICU. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at Rideout Hospital in Marysville tonight with the message from the family of a COVID patient inside. Steve. Yeah, I had the opportunity to talk to this Yuba County family of a 42 year old father in the ICU and tonight they are urging people in this area to take COVID-19 seriously. Obviously, we do a lot of praying. Lots of prayers. Jay and Dar Pagani stand outside right at Memorial Medical Center, where their brother is one of the 25 COVID-19 patients in the overwhelmed ICU. We're dealing with this day by day, and it's uh, very nerve-wracking, you know, to get that text every day to find out what's really happening upstairs. 42-year-old Sonny Pagani, shown here with his two little girls, has been on a ventilator in the ICU for five weeks family has been unable to visit. I would say it just hit us hard when he wound up at the ER because, yeah. you know. He was on a quarantine at home for a week and developed uh, pneumonia. Right at Memorial Hospital's ICU is now at 142% capacity because of a surge in COVID cases in the region. The number of hospitalized cases is nearly as high as it was in the January surge, and Yuba County just reported its biggest number of weekly cases since the pandemic began. This didn't have to be this way. The hospital CEO posted a video on YouTube imploring people to get vaccinated. Yuba County has one of the lowest vaccination rates in this state at 37 percent. Of our uh, ICU patients, uh, over 95 percent of them are unvaccinated. I mean, COVID is real. It, I mean, the hospital is full. Sonny Pagani was not vaccinated. Family says he never thought he would become so sick. Now they have a message for everyone in Yuba and Sutter counties to hear. And I do believe that everybody should go out and get their vaccine, protect themselves and everybody else around them. We just want to say, take care of yourselves and you know, take it seriously and do the best you can to protect yourselves, your family, your neighbors. The brothers also wanted to share me to share their sentiment, uh, their gratefulness to the teams of nurses and doctors here at Rideout Memorial. They call them superheroes.